Good day, good day, good day to you all out there in this big old world of ours. Well, today, tonight, in your time, sees us all socially isolating together. Um, here in Australia, since the 25th of February, the coronavirus still exists and still owns us at this stage. So it's still spreading. I'm not sure at this stage how um, what the numbers are like. I only just watched a little bit of the news prior to coming on here and starting this vlog. So, but the numbers aren't good. So, um, social interaction is obviously at a very minimum now. Being working in the healthcare industry in the past, I am also quite scared now of um, coming into contact with anybody else. So for me, social isolation is of the utmost importance, especially for two other people in my life. Um, of course, Bambi and Poisson, they're included. They're a given, actually. They're just a given. <laughs> but um, yeah, my two sisters, Sharon and Barbara. I don't want them to come in contact with any outsiders because obviously Sister Shazza, she has a very low immunity to start with. So she's immunosuppressed. Um, so it's quite dangerous for her to come into contact with anyone else. So no plans um, have been made at all for any socializing with her and her family anymore and just not worth it's just not worth the risk and of course Barbara's in the state and she's in New South Wales and they're in a total lockdown as well so we're not they are so of course no travel to or from New South Wales is allowed and if so if you do travel for um reasons then you have to present yourself to a location where you can socially isolate except if it's for work you need to socially isolate um, for two weeks so which is no contact with anyone else for two weeks it is really scary right now out there in this big old world of ours it's a pandemic stage it has been for quite some time now um, I'm actually pretty, um, pretty terrified at this point of time. Um, I mean, I'm sitting out the front and I've put some bird feed out today for the birds. I can hear them across the park. Um, they are there. Cold sore. So I'm still stressed and you wouldn't know it because I don't feel stressed I don't feel stressed at all except for the banging of the doors and the someone's attitude in the household and the constant attempt to intimidate people in the house I mean that's normal for him I mean it's normal in his state with bipolar um, and that's something unfortunately that his son lives with and deals with each day so it's just a shame that he is used to that behavior hopefully when he gets old enough and he does the same thing Lauren does he will leave home as well and in turn he will then won't be quite used to these ways so and by that stage I'm free to go on wherever I am so Hopefully I'll get better soon myself. There's no chance in hell that's going to happen. <laughs> so, not with my new diagnosis anyway of myelopathy. Both cervical, thoracic and lumbar. So I've hit the double, the triple jackpot in other words. Which I've got a video brewing, brewing about that as well. But we've got more important pressing issues at this given time. So I have had my morning coffee, my morning coffee, and I'm wide awake now, 
I have got some things to get done for Sharon and her beautiful, beautiful husband. They're my family now, might I add, my family. So I have contact with my two sisters every day. I uh, make phone contact with them or they contact me by phone. Um, we talk for a little bit. When I say a little bit, I mean hours on end. That's our only means of contact at the moment. Is via phone, even locally. But all good. We do what we do. And it is what it is. So I hope each and every one of you are out there taking care of yourselves. My love and my thoughts to each and every one of you. And of course, oops got about my armband on. Bambi also sends her love, don't you? You do send your love. Yeah, oh, what a big yawn. Yes, she's got her emotional support training training jacket on now, so she's official. Yeah, so today we're hopefully going to try and take her for a walk with my new walker. Hello, walker Dorker. Where are you, Walker Dorker? Where's my finger? There it is. Somewhere. But anyway, you can see where it is. Thank you to NDIS for coming out here and dropping it to me. Um, my other claim, though, is on its way. It's in the pipeline, and they're going to push to see it through. Um, they're going to get me some emergency funding, get some people home to care for me. Um, Get some products because I'm totally out of catheters when I have my last catheter change I can't afford to get any more so they're going to help me with some emergency funding so hashtag NDIS to the rescue love you guys as I said you mean the world to me take care keep safe and keep well keep away from anyone because you just don't know who has this virus it doesn't discriminate it will affect anyone hopefully if it's going to affect anyone it will be the healthy who can fight this I might be young but I'm not healthy by no means um, the elderly are certainly not healthy it um, certainly doesn't discriminate so I hope it doesn't affect you I really do hope it doesn't affect you. I know there have even been some young people out there that have actually been affected by this coronavirus. Um, they've been able to fight it though. They're in the clear. Um, their bodies are equipped to fight this type of virus. Unfortunately, it's something that we've got no cure for at the moment. Um, but Australia is in, is currently, or has currently in the pipeline tests. I believe it's Queensland to see and to, um, to work towards a cure, not just a vaccine. <sighs> it's really scary right now out there. And um, as I said, take care everyone take care of you number one love you guys keep safe keep healthy only buy what you need from those stores only go out to the doctors if you need health care no more social interaction and if you do go for that walk 1.5 um, social distancing don't be encouraged to um, you know get close to those you love if they work outside and come into your environment again socially distance yourself you cannot risk getting sick and I truly mean that to everybody in this pandemic since the 21st of February here in Australia we've known about this pandemic we've worked towards a cure and a vaccine together we've done that 
and together we will find a cure and a vaccine, but for God's sake, socially distance yourself. Even if it is with your family members, I know it's very hard and you've got young children, but you do need to socially distance yourself, especially with those people going outside to work and coming inside to home. Socially distance yourself. Gonna end it here. Love you, thinking of you all. Keep safe, keep well. No, I've just seen this. We haven't felt the stink bugs. One of them is bright blue. And I think they must be mating. What's good if I show you? I haven't got the steady thing on. Now right, that'll do because I hate for them to fly at me at the moment. thought I would pull out the phone and try to record a way home see how successful I am with it so I can only try all right bam let's go so she was on the walk up pretty much for the most of hey for most of the time to be honest with you in consideration to what she's just been dumped into and having to deal with come on that's enough of that so yeah she's coping quite well with the whole thing hang on stop if it makes a difference. All right, so a stabilizing section of this um, photography thing is on. All right. So walker is an all-terrain walker, which is great. It just means that it's got certain wheels that can cope with certain terrains. The brakes work well, which is good to see. It's important that we maintain our walking healthy, our healthy um, habits. You can certainly still isolate and get exercise as long as you practice social distancing if you're out and about. So, but I really have to try and sort out some sort of camera utensil instead of having to hold this so I might have to try and come on keep going come on come on come on hey keep going keep going please girl okay keep going I can't believe that I'm bother putting that on screen right now. I'll just keep it on here. It's just showing that she doesn't have so far the ability to the ability to control herself when pulling the walker. But just bear with me while I change this stabilizing thing. Okay, so let's try again, shall we? Commencing to walking with Walker. Okay, walk. Girl. <coughs> hey, <coughs> hey, back here. Back here. Sit. Sit. No barking. No barking. No barking. Let's try again. Has this got me off there? That's not going to work either then. Its position, but we will try. Cross the road, cross. 
their instinct right now to pull on the lead. But we will, it's only day one, first attempt. So, and I do have brakes on this device. So I will use them if I have to, that's for sure. And also I will use the seat to sit down and have a rest if I need to. Alright, just stopping for a moment. Okay. Come here, sit. Sit in front of the chair. Sit. Okay. We've had a bit of difficulty this morning with the approach of no barking. But it seems to be working right now. One step at a time, one step at a time. Okay, feet shoulder length apart. With my toe not being there, I sometimes need to put one foot behind the other so I can balance. Slowly move to the side so you can get the adjust. Try and just slightly bend that lower back to stretch it. Come a bit closer so you can see where my fingers are. Control breathing, don't forget. Slightly apart, slightly bending back, following the fingers, foot towards, bending slightly at the back. I'm not perfect. Do the best you can with what you've got. It's in a controlled manner. You tend to be able to tone those muscles still. Slightly bending back to bend that lower back. Number three, I think. This time in the morning, it is normal these exercises to slightly hurt my lower back. Up towards the end, my muscles do warm up, my back feels alive. During these exercises, I do squishing my core here, 
I'm keeping in as much as I can and my pelvic floor as well I try and keep it in as well I'll show you that towards the end what I do I don't get all these done every morning I may only do what I'm showing you now Controlled, big breaths in. Four, five, missed that middle one then, but that's okay. We'll do another one because I did it incorrectly. Just my PJs, so excuse me. Deep breath in, holding those stomach muscles, buttocks muscles, pelvic floor muscles. Okay, finally, make the love heart sign over our abdomen. And we'll just spend the next couple of minutes taking some deep breaths in. Still holding everything in, your abdomen muscles, your pelvic floor, your lower back, and concentrate on your breathing. Adjust your stance. As I said, I've got no right big toe, so I need to make sure that my back foot is slightly adjourned outward and my front foot is standing forward rather than two feet outwardly. Breathing deep into the abdomen, exhaling. The pain clinic, we did two or three of these motions per day till the end of the 18 or 20. And then at the end of the week, we did them all. So I'm hoping to do that with you twice a day, concentrating on your breathing, pulling in all those muscles that we need to. And more talking. Filling up those abdomen walls with your breathing. Eyes open, door closed. I know this has worked for me when I feel a warmth come over me as if I've just done a fairly brisk walk. One of these exercises each day, I do go for a little bit of a walk to train Bandy. Now we're training Australian assistance dog. So I like to get her used to my walker. Okay. No more talking now, but we do the last three deep breathing, exhaling into the abdomen.
Coming together. Namaste. There you have it. Next moves, extra moves tonight before bedtime. And I have to say that I do feel warm already inside. So we will get dressed. Um, I usually find that after doing these type of, um, I think it's called Qigong, I'll figure out how to say that, I then do a quick, a little bit of a walk up and down the street to get Bambi used to walking with the walker with me. So I'll get changed in a moment and we'll be able to go for that bit of a walk. Of course, we have to socially distance ourselves, definitely. So if I do stop to greet a neighbour, it is a 1.6 metre distance away. There's really no stopping to talk. There's just a get hey, have a great day. So I'll take you with us, with us and um, see how we go. So let me get ready and we'll go for a quick morning walk. Okay, this next one gets your buttocks moving. So stand with your feet apart, shoulders length, and we are going to, as we turn around, and hit our buttocks with the palm of our hand. We're going to lift heel off the ground, and we're going to help Stimulate those muscles on our buttocks. So you're hitting here, and here, but just the free hit. So wherever your front part of your hand actually hits your buttocks, that's where it lands. This may be one that hurts your lower back. You only do what you can do. You don't do any more than that. Oops. Even though I'm not perfect at it. But I am going to try and do this morning and night. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. controlled. So when you swing and you stop the outside of your palm, the back of the hand, you stop and hit your, your sort of buttocks. That's how you know you're doing it right. I don't necessarily do this 10 times, I just do this until I feel like my lower back and my buttocks
Deep breathing is of utmost importance. Balance. And control. I do this between five to eight times, concentrating on my deep breathing and my exhaling. This is something I learned in the Persistent Pain Clinic. And now of all times, it's important to get these moves happening. It also helps my body prepare for the day. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Controlled breathing. Eyes can be opened or eyes can be closed. Make sure your feet are fairly well apart, 